Thank you. Thank you, Angela. Um, it's just so wonderful to see so many people who are now interested in people living with dementia. Because it's not so long ago that this wouldn't have happened. We wouldn't have got the interest from, you know, from the wider community um, that we have now. And I think that is because people are learning to live well with dementia. And that is so important. We need to um, encourage people to live well, well with dementia more because it, we were always told once you get dementia, you just sit in a chair in the corner of a room and, you know, watch television or just waste away, really. And that's how it used to be. My, my background with my family is that my um, nana, my grandmother, um, had a form of dementia. At the time, it was just um, being senile. Do, pe do people remember that? She's senile, the doctor said. And I think that was the moment that I thought, I'm not having this. And this was before I had dementia, obviously. But um, when, when he said, oh, she's just senile, just you know, feed her and uh, make sure she, she doesn't fall over too often, I think that was the advice that was given to us. And, and that was the moment I said, no, that, that's not good enough. Uh, I was very lucky to have a very good relationship with, with my grandmother, my nana, and I loved her very much. So I wasn't going to stand for that. At that time, though, there was little that could be done. There was um, no medication. And what happened, which was very upsetting to me, was that eventually my nana did have to go into a local hospital for the uh, mentally infirm. It still hurts. <laughs> you know, it still hurts me when I hear that because... She was a strong woman and she fought for her family as many other women did. She'd gone through the war and, you know, she'd, she'd been through so many things. And yet she was, all, it felt to me that she was just a throwaway line. Oh, um, there's nothing we can do for her. And I think that was when I started to when, decide that there was going to be something that we could do for people living with dementia. I wasn't going to accept that. Now, at that time, I didn't know I was going to, you know, inherit that condition. Um, but I was determined to um, make a better way. And I hope that I have been able to do that. Um, I, I was really delighted when I was given the opportunity to, to, to participate in the... Um, the event, the, the program, I suppose, um, of launching the Dementia Friends. And um, that has been something that has continued. We still have Dementia Friends, and Dementia Friends are very uh, important to our campaign, I think, still even though we keep bringing in different new, different campaigns and things, I think that original one, the um, all, you, all You Need Is Love, and that's a true one. It's still true. You do still need love. And people who look after um, people living with dementia, um, are, I think I, res I, st I respect them so much because that was unheard of, really, at one time. You were just, as I said, you were, you were just told, right, just feed them and keep them going. But now we know we can love them and we get love back. And I think that's so important. I um, urge everybody to see through the dementia and uh, still see the person. And, you know, don't lose sight of that person. I think that's really important. Thank you.